Hello everybody, this is Etho. Welcome back guys to another episode. <laughs> I have become best friends with these guys. They have taken me as one of their own. They love me. They won't let me go. <laughs> oh, I should not have jumped in this hole with them. Because I don't know how to get out. Look at all those polygons. Okay. I'm going to try to light the ground on fire. It's not going to work. <laughs> okay, let's try Ender Pearl out of here. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, I hit the portal. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm so I'm still goofing around with these guys, trying different things. <laughs> I just set up a way for them to get into the nether. Whether or not I'm keeping this set up, I'm not sure yet. There's there's so many ways you can uh, mess around with these guys though and have fun with them. Uh, I set up like a piston thing that pushes blocks to the middle and when that happens then the water extends and they flow towards the portal. Uh, but you can shut this off as well. Right? It's not perfectly set up. Why can I not click? What on earth? It won't let me click it. All right, I'm killing it. <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, I don't really have the water set up properly, so I I have to do that. Anyway, so I've uh, I've experimented with dropping them through lava and stuff. How did he get out? Huh. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Try dropping them through lava, mostly just for the visual looks. It, it's pretty cool when they're all jumping around in here on fire. Oh, he's back. Hey, you guy. Going for a stroll? Oh, the water disappeared. Okay. Now they start bouncing. Uh, I, I made it so two of the slime blocks down there... Or there's two slime blocks, and then there's two non-slime blocks. So sometimes they bounce, sometimes they splat. <laughs> and it kills them, for sure. Um, and you still have the nice bouncy effect. Or we can send them to the nether, and then like store hundreds of them, and then I'll kill them all with TNT or something, and get XP, and all kinds of good stuff. Or... <laughs> this guy. He doesn't... Uh I feel like something's messed up. He's not trying to attack me. Oh, okay, he is. Never mind. Um, or, I don't know why, but I really want to make like a hamster city th type thing for these guys. Like, have tubes all over the place and junctions and have them going all crazy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I changed this around just a slight bit. There's uh, glass running down the middle now. And this prevents them from hopping across from one side to the next. And they get through this thing a lot quicker that way. Uh-huh. Most of the time. Sometimes they have trouble still. Uh, anyway. Oops. Uh-oh. I don't want to be down here. Anyway, it's going pretty good. Okay, so I think we are going to try set up a killing chamber for them in the nether here. Uh, that's the nether hub right over there in the strongholds to the right here. So it's not very far off our path that we use all the time. Uh, TNT might be a, mit, mit, a, bit, <laughs> a bit messy now that I think of it. Because uh, if you blow it up by a portal, the portal's going to get blown up. And you'd have to encase an obsidian probably. And yeah... So maybe we'll just try poison potions and damage potions. It's gonna hurt me. Yep. <laughs> oh, listen to that sound. You hear that? That is crazy. Oh. You might have heard a motorbike go by too. <laughs> Stupid loud motorbike. Alright, let's try this. Oh wow, I didn't kill them all. How come? All right, let's try one more. Hmm. Is it not hitting them all? Some of them aren't taking damage. All right, they stopped taking damage. 
Yeah, that time it did it. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, that'll probably work okay. Surprisingly, the biggest drop of these guys is actually fish, <laughs> pretty much. You get so much fish from them. What do you do with it, though? You can't even trade it with the, the fishermen villagers. They, they don't need it. That's what they try to... Or no, what was their trade? They... I think they take raw fish and an emerald and they cook it for you or something stupid. <laughs> so you can't trade it with fishermen villagers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I don't know what to do with it all. I guess I could eat it. But, I don't know. Anyway. I just thought of something. One of my villagers, I'm pretty sure, used to buy cooked fish. Pretty sure. I checked him here, but he's not saying <laughs> he's not saying it anymore. Like the old villager trades, the farmer ones would buy cooked fish. Uh, I don't think you can get that trade anymore, though. So you would have to have one of the old ones in your world in order to take advantage of this, which I'm pretty sure I did have. Let's just get like 19. I think that was the maximum, just to be sure. Do, 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 do. Got lots of iron again, too, by the way, which is great. Over two stacks of blocks. Should keep us going for a while. Because I did some caving under the guardian farm. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. Let's take this and, and go check something here. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to happen. Uh, my villager trades have gotten messed up as I've been using these snapshots. So I don't know what will happen here this guy I'm pretty sure I remember like fishing for hours to get the fish <laughs> and then I traded them uh, cooked fish to unlock some new trades but I don't see it in this list anymore there is this and I think this is what it was I think this was the cooked fish trade right here but it's blank now no nah, it's not a let letting me do it darn it I'm almost certain this was the fish one that turned blank for some reason. Uh, we could try unlock more, but I don't know if I have any chicken. Let's let's go check our storage room really quick here. There's also all the guys at the village there, but I haven't traded much with them, so I would doubt I have unlocked the cooked fish one. Let's see. Got fish in here. You see chicken? Oh, I do have chicken. Look at that. All right, well, we might be able to do something here, although I'm pretty sure it only unlocks new trades. It's not going to unlock any of the old trades villagers had, even though it's an old villager. We will see. I realized something, too. We're never going to finish po Project Pokemon here anymore. <laughs> the time has passed on it, so we might have to put some fake guys in here to fill the spots, because now there's more than five or six villagers, and also... I can't get any, like, blacksmiths and priests like we used to anymore. Oh! Oh, no, that's the new one. <laughs> Darn it. I got excited there for a second. You trade him raw fish and an emerald, and he cooks it for you. He's basically a bad furnace. <laughs> oh, man. That's too bad. That actually unlocked a lot of trades, though, didn't it? We got some new ones. Oh, fishing rod, unbreaking one for eight. Wow, so generous. He does buy string though. That's a good one. Um, selling arrows, yeah, it's selling arrows. Selling bread. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want to pick these up. Let's see. Let's get rid of or stack these. Is there any other trades? Mm, pork chops, you know, I don't have pork chops. And this guy had, this is the old librarian. Written book. Uh, glass has been traded, paper has been traded. <laughs> this guy's just about to shut down. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to check that other village really quick, just to be certain. Nah, I, I checked it out here. There's three farmer villagers in this village, like three of the old guys. None of them have it, unfortunately. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is there's a, 
There's a village out where I got the horses I might go check out. Uh, just really quick, out of curiosity. Yeah, <laughs> this farm is actually getting used now that they replant uh, my wheat here, which is awesome. <laughs> so I can and harvest the wheat, and then they come by and they plant the seeds for me, and... Oh, it's, it's just great. Oops. Guy, get to work. Get to work. We need, we need crops. That's one of the guys I just traded with. Um, here. If they run out of seeds, I can throw them stacks of seeds too, and they, they can carry them. Which is cool. Okay, here we go. This might be the village I'm thinking of. Uh, let's go check it out, see if anybody's alive still. They haven't had visitors in, in so long. Oh, I hear one. Definitely heard one. Yeah, it looks like I blocked off the doors. Th that looks like a farmer. Hey, guy. Do you want to buy some fish? Oh, it says fisherman. Oh, man. <laughs> you've been... You've been newified. No. This is... There's no way this is, uh... Words. Oh, don't go out. Guys, don't go out. Okay, that's bad. I'm pretty sure this is not a new village. Farmer. Are these old school trades? I don't think they are. Huh. Huh. Wait. Was that two different ones, or was that the same guy? Two different ones. Okay. This must be a new village, then, because these are not old villagers. Let's check out this guy. Although, <laughs> I'm almost certain they were before. Doesn't make sense that they wouldn't be, because this is, like, before I changed to Amplified Terrain, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, they're all, they're all new guys. Okay, well, we tried. Oh man, okay. So the village we were just at was like somewhere over there. And I was looking around the plains because I need donkeys, right? So I was just curious if I left any behind. Look across the water here and I see there's more plains. And it's like, well, maybe I left some donkeys over there. So I go across. No, this is all new terrain. I've never been here. This is within... It's, we're, look at the coordinates. We're less than a thousand blocks away from spawn. And there's bunnies here! <laughs> there's bunnies! Oh man, what a find. I love these guys so much. And there's lots of them. There's bunnies all over the place. <laughs> oh, they're doing their dance. And the scenery here is pretty amazing. I don't know if it's going to render too well. Um, my computer's struggling to keep up in this area. I don't know if it's because it's creating new terrain or, or what, but let's just go over here. So I looked out here. This looks pretty awesome. You see that up there, though? That's what I want to go look at. There's a village on the hill, and the houses are at different levels. I've never seen anything like that before, I don't think. And look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, man. I'm tempted to try it. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> Amplified terrain with extended view. It's doing it. It's doing it. Gotta love the new snapshot. It's taking its time, though, because I'm recording here. Oh, I guess that was about it, actually. Uh, like I said, there's only so much you can see. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. There's more loading back there. Uh, but this is a pretty cool mountain area. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to get to this village. Can we go down here? Oh, horse is moving slow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's struggling to keep up. This is what it does now. It, like, goes into slow mode. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop recording. Figured it'd be easier if we left the horse behind. But yeah, look at this. We got houses at different levels. There's just like a random house over here. <laughs> some path. That's pretty cool. This is probably a, a farm of some sort going all the way up. Oh, there's a guy in there too. 
Oh man, village in the hills, I love it. Pretty cool. Full size village. Yeah, you guys got a pretty nice place here. I like it. I like your style. These mountain homes. Beautiful scenery. We're up at uh, Y110 here. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I was on my way back and I ran into our ice farm here. So it's about a thousand blocks that way. That new area. And it looks like our ice farm doesn't work anymore. No. <laughs> I'm not sure why. This is Taiga. Uh, but it's not making ice. I've been here a while. It's not happening. It's just not happening. So we might need to make a new one in the future. And that's our stronghold base up there. All right, guys. So we are back here. And I've been... Uh, I think I've been was AFK for 10 to 15 minutes here just letting them build up they're getting ported over to the nether um, I've killed lots of these guys but I haven't really collected their drops like I never set up a hopper or anything I just enjoyed watching them die <laughs> does that make me bad is that a, am I a bad person no I'm a good person um, yeah so now I actually need their drops because I want to build with some of their blocks that they get or that they make so I guess let's head over to the nether and just see what has happened there. How many have accumulated before it gets too crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to ender pearl as soon as we go in. It's not set up too nicely at the moment. Hopefully they don't... Oh, am I in the hole? Please tell me I'm not in the hole. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry. One sec. Ah... <laughs> Turns out I had a hole in the glass somewhere and they have all been escaping this whole time. So they're just randomly throughout the whole place here and it's just a nightmare. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh no, I can't stop moving or they'll kill me. Gotta keep going. <laughs> oh man. I guess uh, I... I gotta walk away from here and they'll despawn. I guess this is what what I have to do and seal up the hold and try again. It worked out much, much better this time. They're actually trapped, which is good. We have about 300 in there or so. Maybe 350. That sound, that scream, it's, it's so bad when there's a lot of them. Oh, these guys are still here. <laughs> okay. They didn't all despawn. Most of them did. Anyway, so... Whoa. That's intense. Those particles. <laughs> Let's try with the particles off. Much better. It's the poison potion particles doing it. Alright, anyway. The reason we are trying to kill up a batch of these is so I can get some blocks. I'm playing around with block with these new blocks. I wanted to see what they would look good with. So I brought over a bunch of different types that I thought would be interesting to try here. Okay, they need to be quiet. <laughs> um, let's do it. I think they're ready. Should we turn particles on again? Alright, here we go. <laughs> Just a final scream to end it all. That worked pretty good. It killed them all. Oh, why are more coming? Oh, did something go through the portal and it loaded it on the other side, maybe? That's interesting. Got some levels. Anyway, so I'm trying out blocks here that work with it. I love absolutely love nether brick with this dark color stuff. I think these two my top choice right now. <laughs> Get lost, man. Come on. Yeah, these guys are my favorite mob. They are so cool. <laughs> I love everything about them. They look awesome. I like the sounds they make. They move like crazy. 
Uh, they're just so good. Um, what else? This diorite stuff is another really good one. I, I really like it with the, the lighter color prismarine blocks, like this stuff. If you mix them in. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Um, let's see. And they also, the diorite's really close to the lamp color as well, the, the sea lantern here. So these two, or these three blocks together, go really good together. Um, there's also lapis. Thought lapis would be nice to try. It's, it's pretty good as like a focus block, like something really bright that stands out. I like it. Um, another focus block that people sometimes use is emerald, and that also looks pretty good. It's very... It's a little closer in color. Um, let's see. Just regular stone, I think, is pretty decent, too. Like, different types of stone. Just that gray color is good. Uh, although, I don't think I would use it. I would prefer diorite over it. And then... Wanted to try end stone because these are, like, opposite colors or negative colors from each other. So... Yeah, I think those go good together too. I don't think I would use it though, because apparently most people hate end stone, <laughs> as I learned from the the runic build there. Um, Acacia wood I thought would look good. It's not bad. I, I think it's okay. It's not. I don't know if I'd actually use it though. It's pretty good. Blue clay, not bad. Um, this is a smooth block though. This, these have texture, so I think these look better with blocks that have texture, like nether brick, for example. Um, what else did I try? I think that's about it, actually. So I'm gonna try to design a room here with these, definitely using nether brick and diorite, I think, and either emerald or lapis in places, maybe. All right, I got the room done, guys. Let's go check it out. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, I didn't have a lot of space. <laughs> it's a small room, but it was just enough that I could uh, experiment with the new blocks and see uh, how they work together. And I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I do think these blocks go good together. It might just be me, but especially the nether brick and, the, and this greenish cyan color stuff is really good. Diorite is also really nice. I like to have like a, a light color block, a dark color block, and then a colorful color block. <laughs> like a base color uh, in my builds usually. Usually I just pick three main blocks and that's it. Th three main colors and mix and match them. Um, so, yeah. And this room does what I need it to do. You kill the mobs here and I got a chest here for the collection stuff. I think I'm going to have a chest here for damage potions and I also snuck an ender chest here there's a crafting tables underneath here if for some reason I need them and I just need to hook something up to turn and turn on and off the portal back there and that's it and should be pretty easy to do I'll just add some more buttons up here for on and off on the portal I think it will be easy to hide the wiring uh, yeah Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. I was considering maybe using this for the amplified terrain base, this, these types of blocks, but I'm not sure they would look good with grass and, and natural stuff. I think we need to go more nature themed with that, but we, we will see. <laughs> um, here is the comment I picked up for today as well. It says, hey, Etho, what is the most fun thing about making YouTube videos, and what is the most boring thing? Uh, the most fun thing for me, and I'm pretty sure most YouTubers, or at least when they started, <laughs> is the comments. I love reading the comments, especially if I've done something in a video that I'm, I'm interested, like if I don't know how people are going to react to it. It's always fun for me to check it out. In, if it's a good way, I expect them to react. <laughs> if it's a bad way, it's like, oh no, I don't want to put this video out. Um, but that usually doesn't happen. 
Um, yeah, I think a lot of people get into YouTube originally, like if they're doing it for a hobby. The reason they get into it is because they they like getting the feedback from people. That's that's what does it for them. And and yeah, <laughs> so when you leave a comment. Don't act like I'm not gonna read it. Some people talk like talk about me in the comments like I don't exist. I see those, so don't be afraid to address your comments to me. I do see them. Um, not that you can't talk with each other in the comments as well. <laughs> anyway, uh, least favorite thing with Minecraft, there is a lot of in between stuff that happens that I don't show in the videos because. Well, frankly, you wouldn't enjoy watching them, probably. Uh, sometimes I gotta wait for things to happen. Sometimes I gotta do a bunch of grinding work. Like, last couple episodes, I've been digging that hole. <laughs> That's not all that fun. Uh, although I do, like, watch videos and stuff in the background when I do that kind of stuff. So I, I make it fun for myself. Um, it's not too bad. That's another reason I don't like recording that, because if I record it, I can't watch stuff in the background, and yeah. Anyway, so that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed our episode. Oh, let me do one thing. One thing has been driving me crazy here, <laughs> and i got to deal with it today before I forget again. I keep meaning to do this every episode. Let's take these. The mushroom blocks now are split. There's the brown ones, and there's the red ones. I don't know if you can still get the original um, what they were before. Here, let, let me show you what I mean. <laughs> In my my room here, I haven't tried I haven't tried cutting a mushroom with silk touch. I should try that actually. I'm not sure if you can get these anymore. I hope you can, because these look really good too. I like that block. Uh, but the thing we need to do delayed ending to this <laughs> for no real reason. I just gotta fi fix this mushroom. It's driving me crazy. It's not gonna be a perfect fix, but it, it'll do. Stupid creeper blew it up a long time ago, and I have to see that all the time. But you see the bottom, it's it's different, right? So yeah, and the inside. Not that it matters too much. Uh, anyway, got that fixed. Very good. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have yourselves a good day. Bye-bye.